Hey guys, it's Jules here, and today I have a look for you that I'm going to be calling like a smoked pearl look, because I know a lot of us are big fans of the smoky eye, but it's a little intense to wear during the day sometimes, so this is what I came up with. It's kind of a daytime smoky eye, and the key to doing a smoky eye during the day is to use neutral shimmer colors that go with your skin tone. My skin tone's fairly white, as you can tell, or light. Um, so if you have darker skin, maybe you're a little more tan than me, then just play around with similar colors that would work for your skin tone. Today I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Palette to create this look. It's really quite simple to do, so if you'd like to learn how, please stick around. Alright, so to get started, I already have Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Candlelight. This is my little sample bottle. I already have this all over my lid right here. You can see it's kind of like a shimmer. Alright, next we are going to take this is Urban Decay Shadow Eyeshadow Pencil 24-7 in Sin. Now, I realized when I was making this that Urban Decay makes the primer potion in the color Sin, and so if you really want to just skip this step and just use Sin as a primer potion, go for it. I like the way that the eyeshadow pencil holds on to the makeup, like it really grabs it. So do whatever you prefer. We're just going to put this all over our lid. And since this color is pretty neutral to my skin tone, we don't really have to blend it in because it doesn't make a super big crease. But if you're a little bit darker, you might want to just clean it up right there. No worries. Alright. So next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Palette. That is this one right here. Ooh. And we are going to take this lovely color Sidecar, which is kind of a shimmery taupe color. I don't know, it's lighter than this, I mean, it's darker than this color Sin. I'm going to put this on the inside right here and bring it up a little bit. So just take any brush you'd like and just bring this into the inner third of your eyelid. And then bring it up into the crease a little bit, because that'll just help blend our other colors out later. And put a little bit down on the bottom. We'll come back to that later. Alright, so once you have that, I'm going to move on to our next color, which is going to be Hustle, which is all the way down here on the dark end of the palette. It's getting a little washed out in this uh, video, but it's a pretty dark color. It's like the same color that we have, but just like a more deep brown. And we are going to take just any shadow brush that you have. Excuse me, I'm a little sick right now. <laughs> if I sound that look gross. We're just going to put this right in the middle there and blend it out with that first color. And you can go pretty close to the edge. Alright. Now, to blend that in, since this is a little bit of a dark color, it tends to overtake the sidecar. So we're just going to go back with that sidecar and just blend it out from this side so we keep the inner corner light. Just keep that dark color in check. Alright, now we are going to take a fluffy crease brush. Alright, now for our crease, we are going to use Creep, which is this sparkly black. And don't be intimidated because it actually blends out really nicely. And so we're just going to start this on the end and start blending this into our look. And since we're using the big fluffy brush, it's a lot easier to blend out. And just go over that middle color right there, but don't go too far in with the black. Make sure to blend those two colors together. Alright, perfect. 
Now we are going to take a fluffy blender brush. I just have this one right here. And we are going to take this really light color Sin right here, which in fact is the same color, well, it should be, <laughs> as this pencil. I don't know if you can tell. It's supposed to be the same color. <laughs> then it's just a nice shimmery color with a little bit of a peach undertone. So we're just going to take a little bit of this and just go right on the edge of this look and soften up that black. And just really blend the edge of that nicely. So it's just going to go really nicely into our eye. Alright. Now we're going to take some eyeliner. This is Urban Decay 24-7 in Gunmetal. This has a shimmery packaging. It's like reflecting on the name. We're just going to put this right under our eye. And really concentrate it on the outer three fourths of the lid. Now we're going to go back with Sidecar, which is that first color we used. We're going to add a little bit more right on the inner corner, just so that it really opens up our eye. And now, using the small blending crease brush that I was just talking to you about, this one right here, we are going to take the Hustle, which is this color, and we are just going to put it right on that gray, because our look is a little bit more warm tones than grays, so this is really just going to help bring that together, and it adds a nice smoky effect. Alright, now we're just going to handle our eyeliner and we'll be almost done. So now we're going to take our Stila Eye Kajal in Onyx and just put this on the top inner lashes and the bottom inner lash line. Alright, now to line this look, we are going to use Urban Decay Liquid Eyeliner 24-7 in Perversion. Sorry, I sound so terrible right now. I woke up and I am a little bit sniffly. This is their new packaging. I'm a little iffy on the product. Honestly, I like it, but it's really like plasticky. I don't know if that makes sense. Like if you put too much on, it looks kind of like shiny, but I mean, it stays forever. <laughs> Who can argue with that? And we're just going to make a thin line with a little bit of a wing. And then just come out and connect the wing. We're going to see what this one looks like. Goes a little bit higher. What I do like about this eyeliner is that this precision tip right here, it's so super thin that you can just get a really, really sharp wing. The wings are good. I often make one line a little bit thicker than the other, so if you need to go back on this side and thicken it up, you're more than welcome to. Alright. So that looks about right. Doesn't have to be too perfect. If you'd like to do a pencil eyeliner and smudge it out, because I know a lot of people like to do the smoky eye like that, Feel free to do that. I liked using liquid eyeliner a little bit better, but do whatever you prefer. Now we're just going to put some eyeliner on the and now we're just going to put some mascara on this and we'll be all done.
This is Maybelline's Define a Lash. I think this is just in very black. Very black. I'm going to wait for this to dry a little bit because it does stay wet for a little while. And we're just going to put a lot of mascara on. You really just wiggle it on in there, you get a nice good coat. We're also going to put it on the bottom. I'm going to let this dry for a couple seconds and then I'll put our second coat on and we'll be done. All right. One important last step for this look, since it does tend to have a little bit of fallout, is to just take a big fluffy brush. This is the one that I use for putting on my makeup, my like mineral powder, and just sweep that right underneath. Just because the Urban Decay colors with a lot of sparkle in them, they tend to have a little bit of fallout, but it hasn't been too bad today. But yeah, so this is our finished look. I hope you guys really like it. I'll zoom out for you. I think that this is a really easy look to wear anytime you want. It flatters a lot of different skin tones, a lot of different personalities. So I hope you like it, and if you have any requests, please let me know. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.